In this video, we are going to continue to learn about how to solve equations. It is important to be familiar with the properties of equality and inequality so that you can transform equations or inequalities. In previous years of schooling, you've learned all of these properties. The addition property of equality tells us that adding the same number to each side in an equation gives us an equivalent equation. So if I have a minus b equals c, and then I add b to both sides, then it just simplifies. So do not worry, you already know this. I know it looks strange in this format, but basically what it's saying is what we learned earlier, that if you add the same thing to both sides, you're not changing anything because it's an equation. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Then we have the multiplication property of equality that says if you multiply the same thing on both sides, um, it's still an equivalent equation. And then the multiplication inverse property tells us that when you multiply a number by its reciprocal, that equals one. And the additive inverse property tells us that adding a number to its opposite is zero. So five minus five is zero or three minus three is zero. So when we look at these examples, it says solve each equation, justify each step. So in example one, I have four X equals 12. I wanna get X by itself. To undo multiplication, I'm gonna use division. So when it says to justify, my first step is using the division property of equality. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so that's going to leave me 1x. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So my answer is x equals 3. I was able to solve this in one step. That step was division. On example 2, I have 2x plus 9 equals 19. I want to get the term with the variable by itself. Right now, I am adding 9 to 2x. To undo addition, I need to use subtraction. So I need to subtract nine from both sides. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. So my first step is that I'm using the subtraction property of equality. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the two X. Nine minus nine is zero. I'm gonna bring down my equal sign 19 minus 9 is 10. I still want to get x by itself. x is being multiplied by 2. To undo multiplication, I'm going to do division. So step 2, I am using the division property of equality. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that's going to leave me with a 1x. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that's gonna leave me with x equals five as my answer. On example number three, I have five and then I have these parentheses, x minus one equals 45. When you have parentheses, you are using the distributive property. So the first thing I need to do is I need to distribute. We're using the distributive property. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. I want to get the term with the variable by itself. So I want to get 5x alone. To undo subtraction, I'm going to do addition. And I am going to add 5 to both sides. I'm just going to move my work up over here so I have more room. So I'm going to bring down my 5x. 5 minus 5 is 0. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. 45 plus 5 is 50. So here I use the addition property of equality. My next step is going to be to get x by itself x is being multiplied by 5. To undo multiplication, I'm going to use the division property of equality. And I'm going to divide both sides by 5. 
5 divided by 5 is 1, so that leaves me with a 1x. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So my answer is x equals 10. On example 4, I have 7, or sorry, 8x minus 7 equals 2, uh, 2x plus 11. Notice how I have x's on either side of my equal sign. I need to get these x's on the same side of the equal sign. So I need to move this 2x over to the other side to combine like terms. This 2x is positive. So to move it to the other side, I will have to subtract it. So because the 2x is positive, I am subtracting it to get it on the other side. So step one is I'm using the subtraction property of equality. 8x minus 2x is 6x. I'm going to bring down my negative 7. 2x minus 2x is um, 0. And I'm going to bring down the 11. I want to get the term with the variable by itself. 6x uh, six is being subtracted by 7. To undo subtraction, I'm going to do addition. And I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So here I am using the addition property of equality. And so I'm just going to move my work over here. So I'll have 6x equals 18. To undo multiplication, because x is being multiplied by 6, I am going to use division. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so that leaves me with 1x. 18 divided by 6 is 3, so that leaves me with x equals 3. Here we use a division property of equality.